discovering the power of prayer and fasting as we study the prophet Daniel. We're in Daniel chapter 1. I draw your attention this morning for a moment on verse 15. At the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier, better nourished than the young men who had been eating from the king's table. After the attendant fed them, only vegetables instead of the food and wine provided for all the others. The story of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are four young men that were taken captive in the very first wave of the Babylonian assault upon the city of Jerusalem. Now remember, the Assyrians in 722 BC would take captive the northern kingdom. Now we're talking about the southern kingdom and the fall of Jerusalem, the destruction of the city and the temple being torn down. The Babylonian king had sent his men into the city of Jerusalem and we read about Daniel the prophet. Daniel the prophet is actually the first six chapters in the book of Daniel. It includes these incredible stories about 10 days of fasting and the fiery furnace. Later we'll read in the book of Daniel about 21 days of fasting and of course the famous story of Daniel in the lion's den. The second half of the book of Daniel is about prophecy. And just like John the Apostle in the book of Revelation in the New Testament, God gives him great vision of the coming and future events including the millennium reign of Christ and that eternal life spoken about in the new heaven and the new earth found in the last two chapters of the book of Revelation. All of that comes to John by vision. Well, we'll discover as we read through the book of Daniel that chapter 7 through 12 is prophetic, prophecy about things that are going to come. Now, many of these things in this portion about prophecy have already been fulfilled, and it's evidence of the prophetic word being truth, absolute truth. It talks about the Babylonian Empire, the Medes and the Persians, the Greeks and the Romans, and of course, the millennium reign of Christ. It's all found right here, and the coming of the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I really want you to consider today prayer and fasting. Here we read about fasting for, four, for 10 days. Many people call it the Daniel fast. I believe in the power of prayer and fasting. Jesus said in Mark chapter 9 to the apostles, some things only happen by prayer and fasting. Daniel is one of many throughout Scripture, including Moses and the Lord Jesus Christ himself, that had a lifestyle practicing fasting. Regrettably, because some people don't study the Bible and they just listen to what others teach, they don't really understand biblical fasting. You can fast for a day, or like Queen Esther, you can call the nation to fast for three days. Or like Jesus, who fasted in the wilderness for 40 days. And of course, Moses. Daniel introduces us to a 10-day fast. And it's found right here in chapter 1 of Daniel. And at the end of this 10-day fast, which, by the way, turns out to be vegetables and water. That's the 10-day Daniel fast vegetables and water, that the benefits of fasting, the Daniel fast 10 days, was that he was stronger, he was healthier. Something happened and, and God gifted him with a supernatural manifestation of his spirit to actually interpret dreams. All of these benefits follow 10 days 
of fasting. You'll find it in Daniel chapter 1. And if you've never done a fast, you may ponder and prayerfully consider doing a Daniel's fast. In chapter 10, you'll read about the 21-day fast. And here Daniel is praying, and it seems like there's no answer to his prayer. And he will discover that there's a spiritual battle. Paul the Apostle calls it spiritual warfare. In the heavenlies, 21 days, he does a Daniel fast. Well, nonetheless, I want to underscore with you when you embrace the book of Daniel, just 12 chapters, that remember all of the fabulous, famous stories in the first six chapters about the prophet Daniel. And then, more difficult to understand, to know history of things that have already happened, like the Medes and the Persian Empire, like the Greek Empire spoken about prophetically, and the Roman Empire. It shows us that God prophetically gives a word of things that are going to be happening. Now these have already been fulfilled. But of course, there is much that is yet to be fulfilled. And we can put our trust in the Word of God because the Bible is proven to be truth over and over again. The prophetic Word has already been fulfilled so many times. So when we read about the future prophecies, we have the confidence of the same trust and the same truth of Bible prophecy that has already been fulfilled. And don't ignore the story of the fiery furnace and Daniel in the lion's den. God bless you every day waking up in the morning and reading the Word of God. And today, one chapter in Daniel, chapter 1, at a minimum, and as the Lord encourages you, embrace the whole book. You be blessed today as you continue to walk daily in the Word of God.